I spent hundreds of hours finding the right AI tool to create these cool, realistic 3D animations. And by using these tools, you can create any 3D asset in your edit. I've created these 3D trophies, but it can be anything. And today I will reveal you the secrets how to create these. So let's jump into it. First, I generated this trophy in ChatGPT using DALI, of course. So the prompt is generate a minimal 3D render of a shiny bronze trophy cup. Uh, square base and the apple style product render isolated on a black background we got this and i'm really happy with this end result you can also use nano banana to try this or to create this using google ai studio in my opinion the end result is a bit less nice i think it still looks cool but you be the judge and you can of course use any prompt for this i now use a trophy but we can also use a glass bottle or maybe a coffee cup <laughs> whatever you need you can generate now I can also use ChatGPT to change the color and sometimes this doesn't work properly, but we can try it out. Change the bronze to silver. And what sometimes happens is that ChatGPT basically can't recreate the same type of trophy and it will mess it up. In this case, they look exactly the same. But if you have that issue, you can just copy this image over. We can just go to Nano Banana and we can just type change the color of this trophy to silver and as you can see this also works perfect the trophy is exactly the same but the color has changed to silver maybe i even prefer this silver it, it looks maybe a bit nicer really really dope now we're going to save these images and uh, make sure they're in one folder trophy and then also save this and now we're going to animate them now you can use multiple services for this i'm going to use cling link is in the description and basically we can just go to the video model we can have a start or end frame but you don't have to so i'm just going to upload the image and then the only thing i have to do is uh, add the prompt to it i want this trophy on a black background rotating around and you can also do rotating the camera around it it depends on what movement you want i don't need any sound effects i'm gonna turn that off if you want to you can turn that on and then let's generate it and as you can see we have this really cool rotating effect i think it even loops i'm not 100 sure but it's perfect for what we want and now i'm just gonna download it uh, so we just download the video there we go and we can use this in an edit or in an animation and to give you an example for this let's open after effects and i'm gonna click on new composition 4k 25 frames per second press ok then i'm gonna create a new solid let's make that fully dark and black press ok then double click in your project window and let's import our video that we created can just drag this in if you turn on the feature to remove the watermark then you won't see this if you didn't turn it on and you see the logo then we can get rid of that by using a simple mask so i click on the ellipse tool and then just dragging this just like that i'm gonna press s for scale and let's make it a bit bigger now i want to animate it in uh, let's go to the selection tool let's move it here press p for position set a keyframe drag this out and then let's move this from the right hold shift perfect select these keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy ease go to the graph editor let's select the last keyframe and then drag this out now this already will be a really nice and cool animation in my opinion it will slide in from the right we can add some motion blur to this and it will look even more cool in my opinion really really nice now i want to have some text reveal here maybe just go to the text tool we can type here third prize let's make that a bit bigger and then let's move this to here i'm gonna right click layer cells and then a gradient overlay let's open up the layer cells the gradient overlay and then change that to a reversed gradient and then dial the opacity down now i also want to animate this in uh, maybe we can even have it reveal with this uh, this trophy so let's create a new shape i'm gonna make sure that nothing is selected that the stroke is set to none okay and that the fill is set to a color it doesn't really matter which one i'm gonna just uh, drag this to something like this perfect and i'm gonna add a fast box blur to this so uh, type in your effects and presets fast box blur and we can just drag that to our shape drag that blur radius up by a lot something like this and we can turn the repeat edge pixels off we don't need that per se i can just move this a bit and i'm gonna press p for position i'm gonna set a keyframe and uh, maybe like move it so it's like around here and then go to the beginning and then let's move it to the right and then same thing i'm gonna also 
make sure that these keyframes are eased by selecting them, right click keyframe assistant, easy ease, go to the graph editor, select the last keyframe and drag that handle to the left. So it's also nice and smooth, very nice. The timing is off, uh, that needs to be fixed. So we're gonna move this keyframe a bit, something like this, perfect. So now this shape layer should move together with the trophy a bit, something like that. You might think, what are we doing? <laughs> well, we're gonna use this shape layer as a mask. So we can just select the text and then uh, drag this pick whip next to the no mat and then uh, select the shape layer. And now we want to invert that by clicking on the invert button. And as you can see, it will reveal this text really nicely. Now we don't want it to be visible here. Uh, so I might just cut it off uh, by moving this just like that. Uh, so it will be visible here. Now I might even add a text animation to this. So it's even more nice. So maybe just go to the text, animate, click on position, and then we can go into the range selector into advanced. And what I want to do is change the base on to words because I just want to animate the words. I don't want to animate the character separately. And let's change the shape to ramp up and the ease low to 100%. Now we can set a keyframe for the offset. Uh, let's put that to 100% here. Let's go a bit more to the front. Let's set this to like minus 100%. And now the only thing we have to do is next to the position, you see these values. We want to drag it down a bit uh, to something like this. Perfect. And also I want to click on add property and opacity. Because I also want to make sure that the opacity is also animated. So set this to zero and we should have this nice animation. Maybe I'm gonna drag this a bit earlier so we already have this animation. And then lastly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press P for position, set a keyframe, and then drag this out and make sure it's a bit lower. So we have this continuous movement of the third prize coming in. I think this looks so nice. I think this looks really, really nice in my opinion. And now we can of course do this with the other assets too. And as you can see, making this 3D assets is extremely easy. It will save you so much time by not having to go to Blender. You can make these custom things so you don't have to always download these 3D models. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. And if you want to learn more about AI, then do join the Full Stack Editor Club. Link is in the description. Then thanks for all the support. Don't forget to subscribe and then I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.